and welcome to Kais.com TV. Today we're going to be looking at how to upgrade your laptop to use a solid state drive. Now this is a completely different type of drive rather than using an older hard drive. It's basically like one massive big memory card and there are, so there are lots of advantages to using that on your computer rather than an older hard drive. The main advantage is that they're fast. They're really, really fast and we're going to be showing you some of that later on in this video. The second advantage is that they run a lot cooler. They don't get as hot, they stay nice and cool. So when you're sitting with your laptop on your lap, you're not going to burn your knee and it can cause some health problems as well there. So that's another advantage. They use a lot less power as well because there are no moving parts in the laptop. It doesn't have to spin the disc round and move the little head to get your information. So it uses a lot less power. So the battery on, the, on your laptop is going to last longer. They're also much more shock resistant. So obviously it's not recommended to drop your laptop anyway, but if you do, your data is going to be a lot safer on a solid state drive rather than an old hard drive, again, because there are no moving parts for it to break. The other uh, advantage that we're focusing on is that the defragmentation of your hard disk doesn't become an issue at all with a solid state drive. They still get fragmented and you don't need to bother defragmenting them and it doesn't slow your computer down at all because it can access information from all over the drive at the same speed anyway, so it doesn't really care if it's defragmented. So we're going to look at how to install this into your laptop. Okay, so the laptop that we're going to be upgrading is this laptop here. Now this is a fairly old Acer laptop here, which was originally running Windows Vista. We've upgraded it to Windows 7, and we've also upgraded the RAM on it. It originally had 2 gigabytes of RAM, and we've upgraded that to 4. We're running a 64-bit edition of Windows 7 as well, so we're taking full advantage of all the memory available to us there. So the next stage in upgrading of this laptop reader then is the hard drive, so it's the hard drive that's causing a little bit of a bottleneck and causing it to you know, be a little bit slow. So we're going to be upgrading it to this solid state drive here today. Now the solid state drive we've gone for is a crucial M4 drive. We bought this from eBuyer, uh, we have a good range of solid state drives, good delivery and good service, so we chose to, to buy it from eBuyer and we'd recommend them. We've gone for a 64 gigabyte uh, capacity here. And the reason we've gone for a fairly small capacity is mainly cost and um, solid state drives are still, they've come down an awful lot but they're still a little bit pricey. This one cost us about £85 uh, including that and it doesn't matter that we've got a fairly small drive because of course we've also got the hard drive that's in here at the moment. It's a 160 gigabyte hard drive in the laptop so what we're going to be doing is taking that out and putting it in its own little caddy so we can use it as a portable external hard drive with a USB connection so we can use that for all our storage but use the solid state drive to run Windows and all the programs. Okay so in the box um, for the hard drive you get just the hard drive here, that's all you need. Let's open it up and show you what you get. So you get the instructions, I'll throw them away, um, and then this is the solid state hard drive. It's exactly the same size and dimensions as a standard laptop hard drive uh, for obvious reasons so it can fit in nicely and it's held obviously in the anti-static uh, protection there. So what I'm going to do uh, is put on my anti-static wristband which will make me earthed. Now if you don't have an anti-static wristband that's fine, uh, just touch something that's going to make you uh, earthed. So like a radiator which is often earthed or touch the side of a computer case um, just to get any static charge off your body. Okay, so I'm all connected into the mains now. So uh, I can carefully open up the, uh, the drive there. So here it is, it's basically just a massive big memory card um, which we're going to be using to run Windows 7 off. Now if you've got software on your computer that requires a license to be activated, it's important to remember to deactivate this software from your computer before you reinstall Windows. The reason for this is that we're not going to be just migrating our Windows installation to the new hard drive, we're taking the opportunity to have a nice fresh installation of Windows. So the example here is Photoshop Elements 8, which required the serial number to be activated with Adobe beforehand. So if we're moving this software legitimately to another computer or with a new installation of Windows, we first deactivate the software, which means that we'll be able to install it no problem on our new computer with the solid state drive. Okay, so first off, shut down your laptop and uh, flip it over. Now uh, we want to make sure there's no power going to anything, so as well as unplugging it, take out the battery. So keep that to one side. Now you need to find where your hard drive goes in your laptop. Now on this one, it's down here. So we'll just unscrew this. 
That was always handy whenever you're taking apart anything to keep hold of the screws. I've got these little boxes, pop the screw in there, can't lose it then. Um, notice I'm still wired in, so on earth, so any static on my body is not going to harm the laptop or the hard drive. So open this up and get all the screws out. There we are. And then, so that'll take that away. Now this is the hard drive. This is the hard drive that's currently in there. So being careful with this. It's always a good idea to let your laptop cool a bit first before you start taking it to pieces. So this is our old hard drive. Now you'll notice that the hard drive is in, held in a case called a caddy. So what we're going to do is take that off as well. Again, very carefully. So I'll use a different box for those screws so I can keep them apart. Gently slide the hard drive out and put that to one side. Now on my desk here, I've got this green rubber matting which makes it very safe against static. You don't have to have that bit if you can, all the better. Now I'm going to slide this in the correct way, so line that up, so those are going to plug in there aren't they, so I need to have that like that. Slide the solid state drive into the enclosure, it's a little bit of a tight fit on this one, we've had to slightly uh, mend it slightly, but there we are, that's fitted in nicely, and we've got the screw holes aligned there, so we'll now pop those back there. Okay, so now we've got the solid state drive placed in the caddy that the old hard drive was placed in. So this can now be placed back in there. Place that in, gently slide it in. Okay, there we are. Place this back on. And there we are, your solid state drive is installed. So the next thing is to install your operating system. So as we mentioned before, we're not migrating our old Windows installation from the hard drive to the solid state drive. We're doing a fresh installation of Windows. So with your Windows DVD and your serial number handy, boot up off the DVD drive and install Windows. There we are then, we've finished installing Windows on the new solid state drive in our laptop and we've also installed some software like Photoshop and Photomatix. Uh, so now we need to see has it made much of a difference. So we'll pass over to Aaron for some benchmarking tests. So the first test that Paul did earlier was looking at how fast Windows would boot and so we're going to look at that now with the new solid state drive. Obviously shut down the computer and we'll see how fast it loads. So we've lined up the video of both boot ups for the laptop. On the left hand side there we have the original HDD hard drive which is spinning and on the right hand side there we have the solid state drive so the BIOS took about the same time there and then you'll see that the solid state drive on the right hand side loads a lot faster. Obviously partly because we've also got a fresh installation of Windows we recommend that whenever you upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive you don't migrate it. Uh, but take the opportunity for a nice fresh installation so you've got a double whammy of extra speed there. So you can see, here we are, there it is, it's finished loading the uh, solid state drive and we're still waiting for the hard drive to boot up. So you can imagine in the mornings or whenever you start work it will take you a lot longer. Oh it's nearly there, is it there or is it going to take a little while longer? So you can imagine how you start to get kind of bored while you're waiting for your laptop to boot up, but you know, people with a solid state drive have already started working. And here it is. Ah, oh, finally. Cool. Well that was a lot faster than the previous boot up. And so we're now going to go for a side-by-side -side comparison of how long it takes to load Photoshop. So in order to make this test as accurate as possible, we've lined up these two pieces of video to the exact frame where the Photoshop Elements 8 icon was clicked in the start menu. And then as soon as the edit button appears, we've clicked it straight away, as you can see down there on the solid state drive at the bottom. And Photoshop's finished opening already before we've even had a chance on the older hard drive to press the edit button there. So people with the solid state drive there would already be 
up and away and working now, whereas on the older hard drive it's still churning away. Bear in mind it's not just because it's an old hard drive, obviously we have also got a fresh installation of Windows on the SSD, so that's again why we recommend not to migrate all your Windows files and the history over, but get a nice solid fresh installation. So we've seen once again that Photoshop loaded a lot faster with this new solid state hard drive than compared with the old normal hard drive. So as we've seen, massive difference with the solid state hard drive. Computer's much faster, it's cooler, it's less prone to shock, and uh, above all, it's going to be more productive in our use. So uh, there we are, solid state drive. If you want any more handy hints and tips, just visit www.kias.com.